Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today on this? I would say this is the hottest day ever. <laughs> I know every day, Leather Bag Lady Weather Report, I talk about how freaking hot it is at this trailer park, but it is 40 without the Humidex right now. There is thunder boomers clashing and crashing around. Yeah, no, it's still uh, blue skies behind me, but I can hear it. I was going to go for a swim this afternoon, but I guess I won't be. So, um, I have something very special for you today. So, if you already have my listing for today, then you will know how special this bag is. Um, again, a bag that has been in the storage unit for years. I just uh, took a new bag out on Sunday, like a new lawn bag. If you follow me, you know that I keep all my purses and bags in paper lawn bags uh, for a bunch of reasons, um, which if I can remember, we'll talk about after I show you the bag. So you ready for this? Make sure it's all beautiful. Oh, now my watch is going to fall off. Oh my goodness me. Ah, there we go. All right. You ready? Now, if you know what this brand is, you'll know what it is, obviously. You will recognize the colors, you will recognize the clasp, you will also recognize the quality, and you will recognize the emblem. This is an absolutely beautiful Dooney and Bork satchel. There's your brass duck little bit of tarnishing not nothing too crazy now let's unpack this guy because I have priced this um, a little higher a lot higher um, I went on Etsy to see what other people were selling uh, bags like this at and I couldn't find one like this not why I priced it higher I priced it higher because I have to start doing that with my bags and I have to honor the fact that I have found one of these in 11 years. So it is a Dooney and Bork at all weather leather. So first of all, you've got a compartment here. This side is all raw, beautiful leather. All the edging is absolutely gorgeous. There's a few little scratches and stuff, but I mean, this tan colored leather will do that now the other thing which I am going to fix is some of the edge uh, it's not really edge well I guess it is edge coat but some of it is um, it's more of that burnishing that I really like that they um, they have like a, a wooden spool and they rub it to make it shine so they put the paint on it and then they rub it to give it a sheen and that is some of the paint is missing. So a perfect example is right here. You see it brown, 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 and then it's missing. I can fix that with my Angelus paints, which is a leather paint. So it won't be a half-ass repair. It will be in keeping with the quality and the beautifulness, which is probably not a word, um, of this gorgeous, gorgeous bag. The strap does have a little bit of movability, solid brass buckles. The duck is solid brass. This is how you, now you can do this a bunch of different ways. I will be honest, this can be a little tricky to get through. In the past, I'm not sure yeah, I'm not going to mess with it anymore, but um, I've overstuffed it, actually, which does not help. Um, let's see if I can get it in without too much trouble, <laughs> said the actress to the bishop. So there we go. Underneath, this is all beautiful. There are no watermarks or anything like that. The blue leather is just gorgeous. Take this back out. All that raw leather, the brass um, 
screws. I'll take all this stuffing out of it. Can you hear the thunder? I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear that or not, but it's, it's getting closer. I just pulled the awning in on the trailer. So there's the interior. You got a little snap. Uh, pocket there and that is a canvas a zipper pocket across the top now here is the all-important uh, tag of authentication if you come across a Dooney and it doesn't have that first of all I would check to see if it's been ripped out I've come across that many times and you will see kind of thread fragments um, existing but there are also a lot of fakes. And if you come across something like this that is fake, the leather may well be leather, but this will be all like yucky, yucky plastic. So there we go. I don't know if I can get you right to the bottom because it's dark, but it is gorgeous. I had to think about it. I did have to think about it. Now, I have a Louis Vuitton satchel. That is the only reason this is being sold. Otherwise, I would have kept this. I know why it was in the storage for three years, because I didn't really want to sell it. Now, not that I necessarily, I'll just give you an idea of some of the few scuffs that are on it. I, I When I keep my bags, I try to use them. Nothing worse than having um, a bag that you don't use. But sometimes there's brands that you just know, like I couldn't afford to buy that on the streets, in the streets. I couldn't. So um, I just try and do the best I can with what I've got. Now, I have a, a new customer who um, purchased a few bags from my shop at the shed last night and she sent me an absolutely wonderful message I don't know if she is going to start watching my vintage bag experience videos but um, she just shared with me how appreciative she was of my pricing um, I think in yesterday's video I shared with you kind of oh, I gotta wipe the sweat off my face um, I kind of explained why my pricing is the way it is and just the fact that I I don't want to go crazy with prices if I can help it. Um, I put a little feeler out there recently to some of my long-standing customers who are now friends. Um, you know, what would I be better to do? Increase the price of the bags or just add the shipping? And I think the consensus was to add the shipping. I don't think I will ever add the full shipping. And again, this new subscriber, um, new customer appreciated that I shared the shipping. Now this bag is, it has a little bit of weight to it. There's brass uh, hardware. It does have a little bit of weight. So it is probably going to be, I would say $35 plus to ship, depending on where it's going. If it's going to the States, it could be more than that. So please know that all my prices are reflective of um, that crazy element of what it is to be a reseller. Especially, um, I don't know how my reseller colleagues uh, ship delicates and all that kind of thing. I can only imagine, um, you know, what their shipping supply cost must be. I mean, when I wrap a bag, I put my uh, cards inside. I put a, a little, I mean, it, it's not any big thing, but I put a little thank you gift in there. Um, I put the bag, I wrap the bag in foam. I put it in a plastic sealed bag, and then I put it in a poly mailer. Each one of those items costs money. And I'm, I mean, I'm not, you're, you folks are not silly. You know all this. Um, it's just me being a little bit nervous about, um, posting something that's over a hundred dollars <laughs> if you follow me regularly you will remember the coach the large extra large coach bucket bag that I found in the spring and oh boy did I have a hard time putting a reasonable price on it but I do like to do my homework and see what other people are charging but as I said there was nothing um, for that particular bag lots of purses in the all-weather leather 
but not a book bag, satchel, briefcase, uh, whatever you want to call it. So I'm kind of excited to share it with you. Um, hopefully it finds an amazing home, somebody who's going to use it. Um, you know, like I said earlier, the, the being able to use these bags is part of the passion I have for sharing them with you. And um, when I come across these special bags, it just kind of, I don't know, they're like my kids. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I mean? Like I, they are a personal reflection of me and my taste, my uh, attention to detail when I refurbish these bags. And by that, I mean cleaning them, moisturizing them. If it needs a little bit of recoloring in the corners. Um, I'm not going to touch this one just because I know my color is not 100% match. And um, I mean, if the corners were white and lost color altogether, then I would have attempted to do that. But this, these were not damaged in any other way other than they were scuffed and they were a little bit dry. So I have moisturized them and it is going to sit in my storage unit until some discerning uh, customer with amazing taste decides to use this. School is uh, a month away, would be a, an excellent college bag, university bag, um, to show that you have a little bit of style and even the fact that it is vintage on top of that, like go! Why wouldn't you want to have an amazing back to school bag that is a 20 year plus vintage Dooney and Bork. Not a big brand in Canada. I do see them, but most of them have come from the States. Um, like I said, this bag has been stored for three years and I probably found it a couple of years prior to that. So um, there we go. Anyway, everybody, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, the clouds are starting to roll in now so I have a feeling the rain is going to start very soon but I wanted you to get a true uh, color when I do the videos inside the lighting is so yellow that you don't get a real representation of the color and when I'm posting something that is as pricey as this I want you to have as much information and as much detail as possible so that you can make as informed a purchase as possible. So have a great rest of the day, everybody, and I will talk to you tomorrow for Shop at the Shed. I'm hoping that we can do a Shop at the Shed tomorrow. Um, might be a little bit of a crazy day tomorrow. Um, so if it is tomorrow, I don't know, maybe I will do, maybe I'll try and do Saturday. I'm not sure, but I will, I will figure it out. Okay, everybody, have a great rest of the day. Bye.